Hey everybody, Nick here from Windy City Astrophotography. Uh, well, tonight you can see I'm set up. I've got the Rasa 8 and my ASI 1600mm Pro set up. It is a bit of a gusty night though, so not a whole lot of great imaging to be done. But I did want to take advantage of a night like this in order to try and dial in on a gain setting that I really like uh, for my imaging. I can feel some of these gusts happening here. But I'm not really interested in pinpoint stars or anything like that. I'm hoping to find the best dynamic range gain setting that I can find. And I've heard that gain 70 is pretty good for this ASI 1600mm Pro. Now I've chosen for tonight an area of the sky that's going to be uh, fairly high up. It is part of the North American Nebula and also the Pelican Nebula. So with a field of view on this astrophotography setup, I could actually get part of the Cygnus wall on one side, the Pelican Nebula on the other, at least most of it, and then in between that nice dark nebulosity there. So I really want to see how that looks, if that's getting drawn out a little bit too much or if it's staying nice and dark right where it should be uh, as the images come in. Not a whole lot of worry tonight about the detail. Things can be smeared and everything like that as long as I'm getting a good reading on what that dynamic range might be. So uh, yeah, we'll see if we get a good image or not. It uh, doesn't really matter to me, at least for tonight. So it's kind of a fun uh, uh, try a few things out kind of night under the stars. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some of the images that are coming in on the ASI Air Pro. And uh, you can see we're running here at negative 15 Celsius, gain 70. Uh, the cooler is doing just fine, not too hot tonight at all. Uh, but yeah, we, we've actually had a few images in it already, uh, but I haven't looked recently. So I want to see once the sky got nice and dark, just how uh, this is going to look. So we've got a few seconds here coming in on this image. Once again, shooting 120 second exposures here. Now let's take a look. Okay, yes, really nice. That's fantastic here. So yeah, gosh, Cygnus wall, plenty of detail there. Nice and dark. Now this is just auto stretched. I'm gonna play around with the stretch. Nice. Yeah, the average at 15, 13, that's pretty good. Zooming in, nice details here. This is looking really good. I really like what we see here. Oh yeah, the Cygnus wall. Wow. Yeah, great. B between that really dark area of dark nebulosity there and then the bright wall there. That's fantastic. Really good stuff. Okay, so hey, one good image there. We'll see what else we get. That once again is the H-alpha filter. Two minute exposures where it gains 70 running at negative 15 Celsius on the ASI 1600 mm Pro. everybody pretty late at night here or early in the morning depending how you look at it uh, I'm gonna start heading outside to tear down at this point some upper level clouds have started to move in I actually didn't get as much as I wanted from the gain 70 on the oxygen exposures uh, but I've got some good H alpha data as you saw and um, yeah we'll see in the morning kind of what the final verdict is I think this is my impression beginning of the night that gain 70 was gonna be the way to go and I think that's borne out by what we've seen, but uh, I guess we'll find out in the morning. So uh, until then, good night. Okay. Uh, let's see, where is my... All right, 
All right, everybody, it is the morning after of sorts, and uh, well, I've got my coffee already here and uh, some pics in sight open. I've run the stacks, but I haven't taken a look at the data yet, but I have organized a couple of single frames and also will open up those stacks and uh, see what we have. Now let's take a look at the stacks. Let's take a look at the O3 first. So get rid of the rejections and a screen stretch. Nice, yeah, some gradient there. Let's actually bring this up a little bit. Yeah, it's O3, so it's never, never as pretty as the HA. I actually want to run a quick, just an automatic background function of two. That should be about right. Run this really quick and uh, bring that up and see. Yeah, okay, here, wow. Looking, looking nice. Yeah, if I were to process this, I would most likely not worry about a lot of the noise that's in here. Um, I would just use the, the HA layer to kind of clean that up. Okay, let's take a look at the HA stacks. I'm excited to see. Okay, so gain 139 on the left. That looks awesome. And gain, ooh, gain 70 on the right. So we're getting plenty of strong signal in both. But take a look at this dark rift. Let's just expand. That's fantastic. I mean, look at this detail. Maybe a few uh, elongated stars, <laughs> a few uh, wind gusts were integrated into the stack here. But look at this. This is, huh. I'm curious to work with this gain 70 data. I wasn't actually planning on doing a full process on this, but maybe a quick HOO integration. Yeah, I use this as a luminance layer. Huh, yeah, I'm gonna play around with this. I'm gonna see see what we get. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy the final image. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, definitely don't forget to give it an official like and also subscribe to Windy City Astrophotography channel. Uh, lots of great content coming up. I'm hoping to review these Botter filters as well and uh, give them a full rundown for my first month. Uh, imaging with them. So other than that, clear skies. We'll see you next time.